So today I'm pleased to present our poster which is looking at the seroprevalence of hepatitis C infection in Africa. What we wanted to do was um, do a systematic review of seroprevalence from 2002 onwards um, and to also get an idea about the seroprevalence amongst HIV infected cohorts on the continent. Um, and what we initially found was that there was, in, when we looked just at low risk or general population samples, we found what we thought was quite a high seroprevalence of about 6.2% uh, um, across all of sub-Saharan Africa. There was quite a lot of regional variation on this, but importantly, when we looked at a breakdown between the different types of general population groups, particularly blood donors and the antenatal um, clinic cohorts, we found much lower seroprevalence rates, which indicates to us that perhaps the way in which we've been doing surveillance hasn't been entirely accurate, and we may need to think about focusing mainly on those very low-risk cohorts, blood donors and antenatal clinics, to get a real idea about what the seroprevalence is in the general population, rather than cohorts that may have been sampled in inpatient or outpatient settings. Also very importantly, we looked at HIV-infected cohorts, and we found that overall there was a prevalence of about 6.2% um, of, of hepatitis C co-infection in those who were also known to be HIV infected. This is very important because actually if we know that HIV infection can affect treatment outcomes, then it affects MSF programmatically to consider how we may want to target our treatment appropriately.